Marisol's been coming to the show for almost 10 years to find the father of her five children. Not, 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 not are the father. Not, 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 not. After 15 DNA tests, Marisol has not given up her search, and neither has the show. Her 16th DNA test is today the day. Reggie, so today, they've come back. We've had a lot of unforgettable guests over the years. But this next guest is truly one of the most memorable. Her name? Marisol. Now, Marisol, over the years, has tested 15 men in search of the fathers of her five kids. Watch this. Five beautiful children, 15 men tested. It all began with a search for her daughter Shadiman's father. Not Not all. Not the father. Not the father. Marisol put her search on hold for Shadiman's father and turned her attention to her son, Joshua. You are... With Marisol's third child, Eliza, her search for her father would end quickly. You are the father. But for her son, Davion, the paternity test left Marisol with more painful questions than answers. Not, not the father. Not the father. Not the father. Although Marisol gave up her search for Davion's dad a year later, Marisol came back hoping she'd have better luck finding the father of her new baby, Anthony. The mystery man who could not be here is not Marisol. <laughs> Joey, you are not the father. Yes. Marisol will do anything you want. Today, Marisol is back for her 16th DNA test. Will she hear, you are the father? So, talk about heartache. As you just heard, Marisol contacted us. She told us she has now located the man she believes to be Anthony, her youngest father. And it's, and it's this man, Reggie. So Marisol is back today hoping that test number 16 puts an end to her search for the father of Anthony. I'm going to go backstage and get Marisol. Welcome, Marisol. First of all, how are the kids? Good. They're all big. And, you know, we go back so far. What, who did we start with? Shadim? Who, mm -hmm. Shadim? Shadiman. How, and Shadiman was like, wh wh how old when we... Uh, th two, three. Two. How old is she now? She's going to be 13. 13. <laughs> okay. You brought a fella named Reggie to the show. Yeah. You and Reggie have been together. Yeah. Reggie was tested before with one of your other children and mm -hmm. proved not to be the father. But why are you so sure that he's Anthony's father? Because he went to Florida when I was out there, and we were together for a little bit. I see. And, and you've tested other people yeah. for Anthony. Uh, does Reggie have doubts? Uh, yeah, because right. of my history. So before we get the results, everybody, let's hear what Reggie had to say. I'm Reggie, and I'm the 16th man Marisol has tested on this show. And I'm back because she's claiming yet again that I'm the father of her son, Anthony. I don't know how she can say she's 100% sure that I'm her baby's father. She's a hustler. All she's trying to do is get money out of me. And I ain't no sucker. I know how she gets down. I know there's a possibility that I could be the father. If I am, I'm going to be embarrassed and pissed off. Out of all the guys she slept with, I don't want to end up being the dad. Everybody in America knows who Marisol is, and I don't want to be associated with somebody like that. So after this, if I'm not the father, don't bother me. So here he is, Reggie. Reggie, come on. Where do you want to sit? You want to sit here? Okay. Reggie, what's up? You think you look like that little guy? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. You know, you kind of hinted at something. You felt that if you are the father, you would be upset. Why would you be upset? Because they go by, like, they see her on TV, and I got to explain it to everybody that oh, well. sees him. Oh, well. <laughs> I got to explain it. So every time I turn around, it's like, I got to explain
It's embarrassing. Do you know that little boy? Do you know that little boy? Not really. No. Sorry, but he's mine. I'm, I'll be there for my kid. I take care of mine. I get mine. You know what I'm saying? I take care of mine. Everybody that knows me know how I do. But up till now, you're not a part of his life. No. But you will be there if you're the boss. 100%. That's me. Well, then guess what? We're going to find out right now. <laughs> In the case of two-year-old Anthony, Reggie, you are the father. You know something? You'll be a great father. That's what I do. I know That's you what will. I do. I, if I'm a, not working, I'm You will daddy. be a That's great father. And guess what? Marisol's search for her youngest father is over. I congratulate you, Marisol. And sometimes, sometimes you have a purpose, okay? She had a purpose. And she was disappointed so many times. I'm glad to say that we've been able to help you with this child. Thank you, Reggie. You're a stand-up guy. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back right after this. Remember these Lil Wayne and Robert Pattinson celebrity lookalikes? One of them has completely changed their look, and you won't believe the reason why. So today, they've come back. Finally, uh, I want to take a moment to remember a very special member of the Mari family who recently passed. Now, Deborah Caruso, sadly, died, lost her battle with ovarian cancer earlier this year. Now, Deborah was a paranormal researcher who appeared on our show several times and will be sorely missed. And our thoughts and prayers are with her family. And so today we dedicate this show to her memory. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Until next time.